I attended design school twice and what I'm going to talk about is actually design school 101 because I create a lot of uh, visualizations uh, and every time I do this, I uh, consciously or unconsciously I go back to these design principles. I'm going to talk about principles of design, types of charts, aspects of information design to which principles of uh, design are applicable and personal tips that I have. I mean, lessons that I've learned. Uh, quickly, the first principle of design is unity, harmony. So, all these are examples of that, how you can bring about unity or harmony in your design. Proximity of elements, similarity, could be color, it could be shape, continuation, a sense of continuation, repetition, a rhythm. So, this is a design class. Uh, this is an example of uh, this application. Balance is the second method. Balance can be by virtue of creating symmetry, having asymmetry, uh, and having a radial symmetry. An example of that from the previous one is that. Third one is hierarchy. We know of tree diagrams, nests, and managing weights by managing weights to create a sense of hierarchy in elements. Uh, this is the infographic I was talking about. I stuck this in the team's uh, office. It, it was to uh, bring forward the problems we had in our campus of internet, equipment, photography setup, labs, and all, most of them were solved. So it's a word cloud. Scale proportion, uh, size, ratio of elements, divisions of divisions between elements. This is the fourth principle. Uh, in, the, in the second case, that's the golden ratio uh, shown over there, golden triangle. This is an example, this is an infographic we created for CIS last year. It was a series of infographics. Then dominance and emphasis, highlighting one or some part of your infographic through uh, creating a difference by creating a highlight uh, by shape, by color or by size. Then uh, this is an example of that, using red, using a large font size. Similarity and contrast by having light, mix up of light and dark elements or line weight, which adds interest. This is an example of that. Using large fonts, small fonts, using colors to create background and foreground relationships in between elements. Aspects of information design to which these can be applied. Typography is one, very important. Uh, using sans serif fonts, using serif fonts, uh, those are highlighted in red over there. Using condensed serifs, handwritten, fonts, display fonts for large size text, for uh, italicized text for usually speech elements and there are many more which are evolving uh, as typographers are experimenting. Then iconography, very important uh, element because uh, as a part of the visual language today it is uh, a, lo a lot of infographics and a lot of interface design. In general a lot of design is uh, following iconography and typography and visual language as one set, I mean, it, it was as one set which speaks uh, uniformly for infographics and a lot of other media. Colors, so mixing grayscales, mixing colors, and adding weight to your infographic through that. Layout, so there you go, it's, this is another infographic for CIS. Uh, this is for, uh, I think, openness. Openness to knowledge, this was that infographic. This is another one and this is, this is story. So have uh, creating visuals to bring out the story through a strong picture or a strong image of your context. Charts, there's a quote by Edward Tufte. It says the only thing worse than pie charts is a lot of pie charts. Uh, so, line graphs is the first one. Line graphs uh, show trends. Over a period of time, you can show change in values. Over small intervals, especially. Uh, this is an example of that. Then comes pie charts. They can show shares, uh, you know, comparing the parts of a whole. Uh, an example is polls. So, poll, poll for something and all the uh, entities which share their part. This is an example, a couple of examples. So, you, you like animation, theme songs, or you know, there are people who have given their opinion. Area graphs, accumulated to totals over a period of time. 
this is a comparison. In fact, it's not a comparison. It's a uh, it's an example of two uh, and take two variables uh, whose accumulation is shown over a period of time. This is an example: milk, tea, coffee, and a summary, which is the total of this uh, uh, graph. And the scatter chart, which uh, is used to show correlation, understanding the relationship between two variables. And uh, scatter charts are special because they can show various kinds of uh, things. One is they can show a positive correlation and they can show a negative correlation. In a positive correlation, they can show a strong positive correlation. They can show a weak positive correlation as well. So you can see there is a strong slope. There is a very, there is not a very strong slope. It's a very scattered. Uh, slope over there, with a strong negative correlation and a weak negative correlation, similarly. And uh, this is a complex correlation at the top, and where there is no clear slope available, visible, it's a it's a no correlation between them. This is an example of a strong uh, weak strong uh, weak correlation. No, 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 wait, sorry. This is this is weak negative correlation. Okay, these are the lessons I've learned. Uh, you have to guide the user. So, using design principles, for example, you can see 50% off, 50 pounds, the phone number, and that difference. So, these are the areas of focus for anyone, and they have been very uh, clearly increased in size or placed so that one can read them clearly. And whether or not they were done like that, they work that way. Character. Uh, so visual or tonal character works in this way. You get inspired by a source of inspiration, overlay it on top of your information. And the more you do it visually or tonally, the more interest your infographic uh, gets or data visualization gets. You have to have fun. Uh, colors need to be there. You need to play with the layout, take the text at times, uh, use new fonts. Google Fonts database has some new beautiful fonts. And uh, you have to test your infographics because uh, a lot of the times the feedback from your friends, from uh, people who might not be familiar with your uh, work or might be familiar, have things to say uh, which might help you in improving them. And this is a personal lesson. Initially, it was very difficult for me to take feedback, but it, I realized that it's very helpful. Uh, I mean, it's a very helpful activity. And that's it. Cool.